party of the 1850s. It is the model, it's the story we have to look at to try to understand whether something like that is beginning to happen again. Well, and it was an anti-slavery party. It was, yeah. but it was a party that was a motley coalition, by the way, but it was dedicated to stopping the expansion of slavery into America's future. That sufficiently threatened enough Southerners that they seceded from the Union and they cast their lot in an attempt to create a separate country. By the way, General Kelly called uh, honorable. <laughs> well, you say his words, including talking about the, the statues as being, you know, reflective of that time. You know, most of the sure. Confederate era statues weren't put up till the early 1900s, and it was right. about rolling back some of the um, advances. But you say these words are part of a reconciliationist tradition. Are you being bad? It absolves everyone of responsibility. What, what do you mean by that? Well, General Kelly's comments are rooted in a, a, an understanding of American history that was popular essentially in the 1940s and 50s. It's that old. And for two and three generations, historians have exploded it and tried to wash it out of the American consciousness, and we've obviously failed. This idea that both sides fought for noble ends. Hey, stop it. Both sides were honorable stop in their conscience mean. and in their pursuits. Stop being mean. That southern slaveholders and southern stop being officers uh, who bolted from the Union were going with their states out of honor rather than their country, as the general just stop said. Baby. And in the end, if you believe this approach, this kind